Ah, hello there, and today we're going to be making a particle system for iOS in the UDK um, from actually making the sprite sheet to getting it in game and hopefully with a sound effect. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is open up Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you have. Um, I'm going to do it in Photoshop because I know it quite well. So, if you don't have Photoshop, there's a trial available, I believe. Alright, so you want to open and start a new file. Um, we're going to make it 1024 by 1024, nice and power of T. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fill the background with black and make a new layer. Basically, you put the background in black and then you put your particles on top of the, that black layer because on UDK it will remove all, the, all of the black in it. So um, that's why you put it on a black. So it also helps you see your particles a bit better as well. Now, because we're making a sprite sheet, we need to divide this up a little bit. Now, thankfully, Photoshop has these rulers. Now, you can enable these by going to View, and then Rulers, or Control r And to make some rulers, you just make sure you're on Transform Mode, and just click and drag across. And it will snap to the middle. And snap to the middle. There we go. And, basically, we need one at again in the middle of these but unfortunately it won't snap to those so it's a bit of guesswork. I mean you can zoom in and get it perfect but each notch there is uh, an increment of 10, 20, 30, 40 is increment of 10 so we're we just about there. You haven't got to get it that exact it's just a guideline for anything. It doesn't hurt to get it exact at all. Uh, 7, 6, 8 will be the next number so that's about there. And we do the same going now. So two five six and seven six eight. All I'm doing there is taking uh naught and adding one two eight each time for each box. So each box should be uh basically the same size now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is draw our or actually at the moment if you if you had a text writer who had made you some uh effects like fire uh, textures and stuff like that have drawn some fire for you and this is when you take it off of them and layer each frame into the sprite sheet so then it sort of runs through them like a big movie clip like a, like a, like a camera reel but um, because it would take it takes quite a long time to make the effects from scratch um, and honestly I'm really not that much of a, of a that kind of artist I'm more of the 3D and PDK style so I'm going to make a very simple effect today. Um, there is a program to do it that will help you called Particle Illusion. It's a, quite a pricey program, but you can create on the fly very many things and it can export each frame out to a single file with alpha. So then you can just take each frame and then just position it in each box. Um, and that's what a lot of people do, um, or use any other sort of particle rendering. I mean, even down to, I think, uh, After Effects, if you were to render out a video of a particle, um, with transparency, you'd be able to split, up, split it up into each frame and put it into here. Obviously, you might need to make the texture bigger if you needed to fit in more frames. But four by four or eight by eight is generally quite is the one that's generally used quite a lot. So I'm gonna stop talking now, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put something in each one. I'm gonna put a little splash of color in each one. Nothing to you know. It's just a test right now. We're gonna make a sort of like a cartoony fountain. It looks pretty good as well uh, once you get it into UDK. And the main reason we're doing this as well is because it's this will work with iOS. Whereas you'll find that some normal particle effects just don't appear. Now that's because they use uh, a translucent material and obviously haven't got any mobile base textures set on them. So you basically need to have an additive material which uses a mobile base texture and a mobile emissive texture, which are both the same thing, um, in our case, and to tick two sided, and that's how you'd set the material up. Now, unfortunately, quite a lot of the stuff that you can normally do in the material uh, node editor, you know, the graph node, so you can like add and multiply and the stuff like that, you can't do that on iOS, unfortunately, or you can, but you can also you have to auto flatten it down, and it more or less destroys what you've made most of the time. Because if you wanted like a, a texture panning thing, if you had a texture panner on 
the mobile graph node, it would then not show up panning because it just flattens it down into one image. So if we need something like panning, you'd use um, text transform, which is one of the mobile options. So <laughs> we find that when in our studio that it's annoying sometimes when we can't do things like we would on PC. Okay then. So I've got my layer there, and as you can see, it's um, just a black layer behind it, just on there. And if you wanted to, you could see that these aren't doing anything because you can move them out of the way. Just lined up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and save this um, and make a new folder. Call it dot shower. Um, save the PSD in case I need to edit it. And then I'm going to just save it as a PNG. You can probably save it as a TGA as well. I just personally like PNGs. We don't need transparency because we've got the black background. Alright, so I'm going to hop into UDK now. And as you can see, I've set up a very, very small platform here. Um, and I've got mobile, emulate mobile features on here. Uh, I've got a simple light and just a uh, player star. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to import that file, which is top shell. And we're going to make a new package called just dot shower, doesn't matter, name, I'm going to put a uh, thing under here saying it's the texture. Right, you want to click create material and tick uh, additive, it's up, it's up, I can do it for you, it's the wrong box, it's this one. Okay, um, and tick two sided down the bottom, and then that's okay. Now I want to double click the material, see we've got a texture sample here. To move things around in here, you hold down control and move it, but that's all we're going to need in this bit at all. I'm just clicking on texture sample, select the texture name, the texture path, just control C to copy, or right click copy. I click on the material again. Now if we go down to the bottom, I'll make this bigger for you. Um, right, there we go. So first we want to paste it into the mobile base texture, press enter. And that comes up there. See, it's not quite what we need, it's dark on the back. So, we're going to again add it on the mobile emissive texture. And you can see it's now just as bright on both sides. So, that's the whole material set up and done. So, that's our particle material. Now we just tick and then close that out. It's going to save this file. So, I've just saved it as dot shower and just hit save. And of course it has to compress the textures to for mobile devices. So give it a second. Okay, there we go. Okay, so in the next part, we are going to take this material and turn it into a full-blown particle and put it in our level. So I'll see you then.